Well, I guess today I'm going to try to figure out the uh, why the signals don't work and amongst a few other things here. <laughs> well, this isn't exactly fun stuff to show. I'm trying to figure out the the signals and uh, basically I just got the board while well, the blinker box is all apart. I'm actually cleaning all the contacts on here and I'm about to put it back together and with any luck it is going to work. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's not much to show other than <clears throat> I'm taking all the trinkety bits apart and seeing if I can figure out what's going on here. Uh, I think I need a new flasher but I'm just trying to bypass it just so I can see if the lights turn on. So it's kind of where I'm at. Now I'm trying to put this back together without losing all the bits. Mostly because I don't have another one here, so I think I'll give it a go and try to fix this one up. Anyways, try to put this together before I lose all the parts. <laughs> Look at that. We got left and right blinkers. Got it working. Cool. I guess the bulb needs to be changed in here. But she clicks. She goes clickety-click. So those go on. Uh, I got the headlight switch to work. The dimmer switch was broken, so I jumped it. But now we got dash lights. We got tail lights. And I had a license. Oh, must be the ground. Gotta check that. It was working. The license plate light. So, yeah, I got to do. Gotta get me some marker lights. They don't work. I have power there. Uh, the headlights work. It's the switch that's bad, and I don't know if I want to take that one apart. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I think I have one, or I'm just going to order one. i got to go get some bulbs anyways. So for whatever the dimmer switch is worth. Although they are kind of oddball on these. They go through the floor and the wires are on the outside. So they kind of can fill up a junk, I guess. But that is why the headlights don't work. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Where are we at? Getting close. Well... I'm waiting for front brakes to come in, so I still got to do the muffler. So that's something to do. And I'm going to try to spooge this dent out too yet. Alright, here I am saying I'm not going to fix this, but I am. <laughs> you can see the, uh, the one side I've cleaned the contact on it, and this side's still like dirty as heck. So I'm pretty sure that is my problem. All I am doing, taking a piece of emery cloth and scrubbing it off. At least these things are made simple. I think I could fix them in the day, right? I am guaranteeing money this is going to work. So, when you basically stomp on the foot switch, it just switches from one side to the other. So, pretty simple switch. I'm going to clean this a little more. I'm going to put it back together. All I did is I pulled all the fingers off. This thing popped off. I'm going to do this. Put a little bit of grease on it. Boom. Slam it in. With any luck, it should work. So we'll find out shortly here. Cool. So we got those working. So that's not bad. We're slowly picking away at everything. So I guess that's where we're going to leave it tonight. Right? Ready? You gonna call everybody? Hmm? Let's go. Well, I got some bulbs. So all the signals are working, headlights are working. Uh, I'm gonna lift the car up and I went to the old muffler van. Found me 
a swanky new muffler. Hopefully it's the same one. It'd be super cool. It'd be pretty much a slip in. But I won't know till I get this up. So I'm gonna get this up. And uh do that and I'm gonna adjust my e-brakes. If anybody knows of a good snap ring that goes on there, I've been sticking O-rings. Buddy was working at the Mack truck and got me all their snap rings, but they're crap. They last like a week. It's to the point I hardly want to use this darn thing. <laughs> Crazy. What was that? No idea. That's a crappy fix. <laughs> Okie dokie. Muffler is installed. So clamps are all in. I ran a little long on the pipe, but that's okay. I clamped it up where the meat was a little better. Uh, this is the e-brake. There's an adjustment in the car, and then there's one down here to which, hey, can you imagine if uh, modern cars just had all their brakes exposed like this? You wouldn't have to worry about stuff seizing up. Like, look how old this is, and it works better than new. Anyways. I uh, basically just got to crack this nut. I got to pull this cotter pin out so I can spin this clevis because we can go up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stiffen her up a whole bunch and then uh, we'll see how good it is in the car after. Okie dokie. So these are adjusted. They should be good and tight now. <clears throat> so this is all back together. Cotter pins in. <laughs> uh, now I just gotta dig around and see if I have this tie rod end. The uh, the bottom kind of came out of it. <laughs> so she's not uh, she's not too safe for the road there. Anyways, everything else looks good. It's tight under here. Just that. So I'll probably do that. Well, I'll see if I got one. And then grease everything up. Yippers. See what it got.
Dang it, I didn't hit record. So I'll try to explain what I was doing. <laughs> uh, so I had just loosened the ends. I was gonna, I did a wheel alignment. Now normally you can't do a wheel alignment on a car while it's hanging in the air, because that's just not gonna work for you. But this being a solid axle, it's got nowhere to go. So you can get away with that on this old stuff. Anyways, all I was doing was going from center of tire to center of tire and uh, I would measure the front and the back of the tire and uh, you want to give yourself about, I like to do an eighth of an inch, that's a little much, usually it's about a sixteenth, this one I did an eighth of an inch, just being biased by tires and stuff, uh, of toe in, so you need an eighth inch smaller in the front than you do the back, so all I did is I just spun my, I don't know what you call this, the rod, tie rod, until you got your desired toe in and uh, anyways she's good and uh, I think that pretty much concludes the uh, bottom side of the car I'm pretty much now just waiting on some brake parts and uh, I'll have to change that headlight switch because it acted up I was trying to work and then it just stopped kind of clicking at least the lights stay on now so that's kind of a win so I'm okay with that, but the switch still needs to be replaced, so. And I think that's about all I feel like doing. Uh, I'll probably start it up though. Let's see what she sounds like with a fresh muffler. Should almost sound like nothing. Should be like whisper quiet, this sucker. But I'm gonna get all this junk out from underneath here and then I'll uh, drop her down and fire her up. That is one fine running car, I'll tell you. You got us. So I've ordered a carb kit because I got no accelerator pump, but I'm kind of learning how to start it without it, so I'm not sure. Nah, eh, regardless, I got one. Anyways, I guess that's about as far as I'll get tonight. As I got no more parts. I might tackle this dent yet, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it tonight. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Until tomorrow. Okie doke. I am waiting for parts, so I'm being very counterproductive. I've uh, got a set of kingpins on the shelf. So this is like not terrible, but we're kind of redoing everything anyways. Well, we're fixing everything that should be fixed, so. I feel I'm just gonna do the kingpins anyways. There's just some slight wear, but it'll probably just get worse, so, especially with our roads here. And it'll probably get driven, so. I'm uh, gonna pull the spindles off and uh, pop out the kingpins. So, at least this tie rod, I just did it, so it should come apart pretty easy. <laughs> and I have everything already sitting on the bench here. So it's a pretty straightforward process. You, uh, I got some new kingpins or some bushings. I got new kingpins. They come as a kit, so you have all these bits. So uh, yeah, basically all you got to do is press out the old uh, bushings, press in the new ones, making sure that the opening is in reference to the grease circ, so you can get some grease in there. And then I have to pull out a reamer. Now I really wish I had a 
a proper reamer for these. I do in a lot of these Model A's. There's an old school reamer doodad that uh, was the right size every time. I just have these expandable ones, so. So essentially you kinda, you make it fit to your task. So, I don't know which one it is, but the hard part is making sure that that sucker stays straight all the way through. So you don't have, you don't go through all the work and it's just as wobbly as it was when you started. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get that one all apart. I'll get this one mocked up on here, smash these out, kinda show you how to do it. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know, but it's worked for me, so. Let's get on that. I got all the pins in. I'm not gonna put this in because it's pretty tight, but uh, yeah, I don't know if that's the right or wrong way to do it, but that's the way I do it and it seems to work, so I'll just keep doing it that way. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go put this all back together, smash this pin back in, grease her up, and these are all done.
right. So we got all the kingpins, everything's in, greased up. And now, the new brakes came in, so we can uh, finish up those, get them bled. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I have to deal with the wipers. And after that, yeah, we can take her for a cruise. Win. Okie dokie. So we've greased this up, redid a wheel alignment. Uh, I've checked all the fluids. Brakes are bled, e brakes are done. Uh, I'm pretty much done under here. So I'm going to do once a once over up top. I got to do a bit of wiper stuff. And uh, I guess the next thing to do is take her for a spin. So. Well, let's get it on the ground. Let's see how everything works. Well, that's not bad. I found the mirror in the trunk. Same with the wipers. Uh, yeah, runs good down the road nice. Nice and quiet. They're really nice cars. Man, for that kind of a suspension doodad, it sure rides nice, I'll tell you that. Uh, I'm gonna try to schmooze this dent a little bit out. Uh, there's gonna be no guarantees. I'm pretty sure they know that. Um, I'm not gonna paint it or nothing. That's not my alley, but I will try to bang the dent out and see if I can at least clean that up a little bit. I uh, probably should pull that trim off. And then, uh, not that it's salvageable, but at least I can work this dent better. So, let's give it a shot, see what happens. Well, 
My filming skills are definitely sucking. I keep forgetting to turn my GoPro on. <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, she's not bad. She's not perfect either. But, uh, it's better than it was. That's for sure. I'm gonna try to smooch that one out because I should be able to get that dent out a little better. Uh, what I was using was body hammer, slapper, and some dollies. And I was kind of showing how it was done and I kind of goofed and didn't do my recording. But, uh, we got it not bad. Like, I don't know. I am no professional at it, so. It's better than the big old dent that was in there. Uh, I just put some tape on it because I didn't really want to mess the paint up. Well, any more than it is, I guess. Because they might just drive it like this for a little while, I guess. Uh, but, I'm going to massage this one out. And then I might try to see if I can bang out that trim and just make it usable. And just so it looks it's like something. It's pretty murdered and destroyed. I have no way of fixing that. So, I'm going to try to... Try to smooth it out if I can, make her look a little better, and uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Put her back together, and I think that's about it. She's uh, ready to rock. Well, this dent came out not so perfect, but it'll do. That'll buff out. <laughs> so I guess all we gotta do now is get it's got to wait for some new tires, but uh, she is ready to rock. Uh, only thing left to do is take her for a boot. So let's see how she goes. One of the original moonshine runners here, eh? Well, not quite, but close to it.
so Carl's over there. He's the owner of the uh, the 47 Ford, but he's uh, blasting a set of rims now because he wants to get them painted for the car yet. And uh, his wife over here, Evie Assault, is uh, going to be doing a photo shoot soon on the car. 